Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG uh, playthrough. And we are continuing after a long pause, it, it feels, uh, the Angmar Awakened campaign uh, scenario playthroughs. Uh, we are up at the Wastes of Eriador uh, scenario, which is the fourth scenario in the box. Um, I have to just say that I am using Amartwil Hero, even though we have the Amartwil uh, uh, story asset in play or a story ally in play. Uh, so keep that in mind. So uh, the rules say I think that you can't use Amartwil Hero in the campaign at all, but I am ignoring that rule because I have a limited card pool and I really like playing the uh, Amar. Angmar Awakened Rangers that uh, came in the um, box with some tweaks. Also, I am using the elves uh, that I, I have been using in the previous uh, playthroughs of this campaign scenario playthroughs. Uh, one thing to note is that I am not playing in campaign mode. This is just standalone mode uh, like they were played earlier. Uh, I have, have been playing the campaign mode and that is really difficult. So these, uh, these playthroughs are in mind that you can get a general uh, feel of the uh, scenario mechanics before you are playing it by yourself or uh, getting some uh, help in how, how you play the scenarios. But of course I am not that experienced of a Lord of Rings LCG player, so I might make mistakes, so keep that in mind and give uh, feedback in the comments below if you notice anything uh, that I misplay. And uh, I will put the deck list into the video description if you want to check out the decks, but I won't go into detail what are in the decks. Basically, these are fighty rangers and these are card drawing and uh, questing elves. Uh, in short, but uh, that's basically it. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we have the setup nearly done. So, uh, the first quest card says that we put the Shrouded Hills acti as an active location. We have done that. Uh, we'll look at that in a moment. Then we have the time objective, which we have here. And it will start uh, day break phase up. There are two sides, nightfall and day break. Uh, the first player takes control of Amart's will. Shuffle the encounter deck. Reveal one card from the encounter deck per player. And the fluff text is uh, following the surprise attack on four nose. You have agreed to help the ranger Amart's will track the villains who captured his friend Yarion. So this is after the um, go we, we fought the raids in... Um, the last scenario. So we have tracked uh, those raids who took Iarion as captive, but we have uh, uh, we are not keeping uh, pace with them, so we are getting left behind. And now we are also in uh, the waste of Eriador, where there are walks that are attacking us during nights. So we have to fend for ourselves and try to progress the agenda. So we'll do the... Uh, we get these two encounter cards. This is for the uh, rangers. So it is rocked country. It is a location. We put that into the staging area. And we get area door wastes, which is annoying because uh, while area door waste is in the staging area, no more than five progress can be placed on the current quest each round. So that slows us down. We need to get there, but we can only travel there uh, when we get works that we can engage. Okay, uh, talking about the daybreak. Uh, so it is day. Uh, enemies do not make engagement checks. Post when it becomes day, return each enemy in play to the staging area. Post at the end of the round, flip this car, uh, this objective. And then there's the nightfall side. <coughs> it, it, is, uh, it is night. Progress cannot be placed on quest cards. Encounter uh, card effects cannot be cancelled. Uh, forced when it becomes night, reveal an encounter card. Forced uh, at the end of the round, flip this objective. So 
uh, during night we can progress the quest, so this can be a really long slug, but we'll see how this goes. I might mess up uh, forgetting to put, uh, when the, we flip this, to put an encounter card out, but it is what it is. Uh, just note me in the comments and I, I try to do better in, in, uh, fu in the future. <clears throat> so, we have the Shrouded Hills location in play, so... Uh, first off, we need to get rid of this. It has five uh, uh, progress we need. Uh, X is the number of quest cards in play. It is here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, wh uh, while there is only one quest card in play, Shrouded Hills can search, but uh, we didn't reveal it. We just put it into play as the active location. Okay, uh, let's draw our opening hands. So, Rangers first. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get Honor Guard times 2, Ranger, uh, Cardolan, uh, Dunedain Hunter, Gandalf, and Veteran of Osgiliath. I really feel like this is too heavy of a hand to start with, so we will mulligan the whole hand. Um, we really want to see the Steward of Gondor in, uh, or the Heir of Erendil, so that we can cheapen the cards we are playing right from the get-go, but we'll see uh, after the mulligan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get uh, Faramir, Gandalf, Pro Fornos Bowman, Steward of Gondor, uh, the Descendant of Kings and Fornos Bowman. So that is a better hand to start. Just put this uh, over here. Probably not playing these allies that fast. and. Uh, we are playing the Steward of Gondor immediately. Okay, uh, then are the Elves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we want to see Elven Light and maybe some... Uh, some uh, Harps, but we really don't see any, so I am mulliganing. We want to get the uh, card draw engine going as fast as possible. With the Elves, that helps us a lot. Oh yeah, this should be already flipped over. So, uh, one thing to note, uh, we, let's do the mulligan and I'll read that card a bit more closely. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the starting hand. We get uh, Galadriel's Handmaid, Tale of Tinuil, uh, Elven Light, nice. Galadriel's Weaver, nice. Uh, gather information is okay. Uh, stand and fight is okay. Well, we have to make do with this hand. Okay, so oh. so your enemy's track uh, tracks lead you across the north downs towards Angmar. In the barren lands between you and the, that dread realm, the nights are black and bitter cold. But it is the howling of wolves that gives you chills. While it is day, each hero gets plus one willpower. Of course, when it becomes night, raise each player's threat by one. So we are uh, raising our threat by two per round uh, when it turns into night. So that is one one uh, uh, concern we have. But let's start by uh, doing the resource phase. So again, I'm taking these two pots nearer to me because uh, it is more easy for me to place these resources. And I'm using these black beads to show if a card is exhausted, so that I will save some table space. Okay, uh, first off, we are playing the Steward of Gondor, and I am playing it on uh, uh, Amartwil, because we can get uh, red resource or tactics resources with Amartwil, with the Steward of Gondor. And I think that's everything we can play with the rangers. We go to the elves. Uh, we will first discard a card with Arwen. Um, I will get the resource on to... Do you want to play? I just place it on Arwen. Then I will uh, use two resources to play Galadriel's Handmaid. We'll lower threat of the rangers by one. Then, 
I will uh, actually play Elven Light from my discard and get uh, Darren's Dinar's Runes. Okay, so I will play it. Uh, I'll draw two cards and gain a resource. Uh, no, to, uh, draw two cards, then we need to discard a card. So I'm discarding the Elven Light. And we get the Silver Harp for next round. So that's good. So that is our setup done. Uh, we don't have anything else to play. Uh, yeah, we, we could play the Gather Information. So I think we don't need that. Okay. So that's the planning phase. We'll go to the questing phase. Uh, no enemies. Uh, we are up against. Uh, we are not doing a side quest, so this doesn't get plus two. So we are against five. Uh, I will first quest with uh, Halbarad and nothing else from there. Then uh, I will quest with uh, Arwen, Eowyn, and. Uh, Lore of Indel. So we'll save the handmaid uh, just in case uh, we get an enemy that comes here. <coughs> so uh, we get uh, encounter cards. So we get the uh, Northern Walk. When revealed, each walk enemy gets plus one uh, threat until the end of the phase. So this is a three. So now we are at uh, eight. And uh, we get on the elves uh, Doom 2. So two threat here, and uh, when revealed, remove each damage character from the quest. We don't have any damage character, so that that is good. But uh, we are against eight. We um, quested for ten, twelve, and I think both uh, will boost Eowyn by one. So we'll discard one card each. I think I don't need to gather information. So... We are up by 10, 12, 14 against 8. Uh, double checking 2, 3, and 6. So, uh, okay, so 8. Oh yeah, and we have plus 1 for each hero. So uh, we are actually up by... Okay. 12, 14, and 6 is 20. So, up by. So, we uh, defeat this one. We place 5 progress here because we can't place more because of this. So, to travel here, I will engage this in the travel phase. And we deal it as shadow card. Okay. Then, uh, no enemies to engage, we'll go to... Uh, we skip the encounter phase and we go to the fighting phase. So, let's see... Uh, I have to think a bit. Oh, so, I am defending with... Oh yeah, I am exhausting steward of Gondor to gain two resources here just so I, I won't uh, forget <coughs> okay mm, let's see so I could play uh, descendant of kings ready something but I won't so I'm defending with uh, Amar Twil. Okay, we'll defend with Amar too. And we get another shadow card, so we get two. So three attack, def defend, nothing, and attacking enemy gets plus one for each guest quest card in play. So one, so we take one damage on Amar Twil. Then um, Aragorn hits for three damage, and Amar Twil, the <laughs> ally, hits for another two. So this enemy is defeated, and that is the uh, combat phase done. We'll go to ready phase, so we ready everything. 
and that is the round. Uh, we shift this here, else on uh, first next round, and this flips to knight. So we have to add one extra threat on both. Then we get an encounter card as it is nightfall, and it is another area door waste. So that sucks, but it is what it is. So. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, hoping that the rest of the turns are a bit shorter, but there was a lot to go over in the uh, start of the scenario. Okay, so it's night time. We don't have the plus to that. We need to get rid of this, and uh, then we need to get to here so we can start getting progress here. But we need a walk for that. But okay, let's let's start. So. First off, uh, we do the resources, we get one for each, we get a card, uh, we get another diner's runes, that is good. Then we get the resources over here, and I'm immediately using the steward, so I don't forget. Now uh, we have plenty of resources on the rangers, but we have to start from the L, so we are drawing cards with the diner's runes, we draw two. Get a uh, test of wheel and area for hammersmith. I think we have enough allies, but this could. Uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of that. I don't think we need that. And we'll get a test of wheel for next round. Uh, next, I will spend a resource. No, um. Uh, I will play the Silver Harp on to Eowyn. Then I will discard two cards, but only one because we use the Silver Harp. So we get this ally into play without using resources. We'll actually spend one resource to heal Amartwil. And I think that's everything the else will do. Uh, Okay, I think I'll discard one card, get a resource, play this, shuffle this back into my deck. To get another ally out. Again, we want to uh, get at least five progress so that we can get the, this removed and travel here, but we need walks for that. So uh, we can't travel there uh, this round, but we could travel here, so I think we're traveling there. Okay, that is the elves. We'll go to the uh, rangers. We'll play Faramir. I'll use four from here. And uh, I think that's everything we want to play. We don't want to use Gandalf yet. So we'll do the questing phase, we are against five, we need to get five, so I will exhaust uh, these. And uh, we have this jeweler here, if we need to do something else. So I'm using uh, Elmer, uh, Faramir to boost all of my uh, elf deck. Um, characters will power by one. So we have uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 against uh, 5. So I'll go 20 against 5. Then we get encounter cards. This is for the elves. Uh, we get a work. Then uh, that's great, actually. So, the other card is a uh, un uh, hunting pack. That That's nasty. But we now we have walk, so we can uh, see uh, we have 20 all together. And the, there is uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's walk enemy. So, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'll discard this, 
and I'll discard this for Elvin. So we. Uh, oh, uh, let's back up. We don't need to succeed by 10, we just need to succeed by 5. So that's enough. Uh, we succeed by 7, so this is gone. Then I will engage this to travel here. And that gets a shadow card. And I think we'll just leave that uh, this back here because we don't have enough people to defeat it yet. Okay, so this gets minus one engagement cost for each damage character. We don't have any damage characters yet, so that's good. Okay, and uh, uh, we'll go to the. Uh, we done the encounter phase, combat phase. So this gets to. Uh, we'll defend again with our twill. So uh, three plus nothing and deal one damage to the defending character. So. Uh, we only get one damage here, by the way, so that's good. Again, I will just kill it off with Ar Aragorn and Amaratwil. Then we get to engage this one, but that doesn't get to attack, so that's good. But it is out of the staging area. But, uh, as you will see, when this turns to day, it goes back into the um, staging area, unfortunately. So that is the combat done, uh, nothing else to do this round, but to ready. Readying everything first, then uh, we'll increase the threat by one, and it is turning today. So this returns here, and uh, when it becomes night... Uh, what did we do something so... Okay, so... Now we can again progress this, but that is that, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, so we forgot to uh, put this onto the rangers, so we do the resource phase again, I'm using the steward of Kondo immediately, just so that I won't forget. These guys get some resources, we draw a card, another Faramir, we don't need Faramir, we already have in play. Then we get resources for Tails and a card. It is Athelas. So that's okay. Not needed at the moment, but good for if we start getting too much damage. Uh, Rangers. Mm. Uh, I think I will just play Fornost Bowman with Aragorn's cash. We'll save Gandalf. Or later, and we'll go to the elves. We will just uh, heal Amaratwil again, and uh, actually, um, I'll before that I'll just play Gandalf because why the hell not? We get to advance this damn quest this round. So, uh, I will deal 4 damage to this one. And just because I want to get rid of it uh, this round, and then of course Gandalf can quest for a lot. Then uh, we'll go to the questing phase. No, uh, the elves will play Elven Light from the discard. I'll immediately discard it. So we draw a card, we get uh, Elrond's Council. I will use Elrond's Council, so I'll give uh, Eowyn plus one. Actually, yeah, I'll use the Silver Harp so I don't discard the Elven Knight. Uh, so Elrond's Council uh, will boost Eowyn by one. We get to remove four threats, uh, actually three threats, so we are down to 32 on the elves. And uh, I think I'll just, in just in case, play Athalas onto Aragorn.
And I think that's our turn for planning with the elves. We'll go to questing. Gandalf will quest. Um, I will uh, give the elves plus one to each character. Then uh, Alvarad will quest. And uh, then the elves I will quest with these three and uh, these two and save this one for defending if needed so uh, we get four five six from that side and for the elves we have 10 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 Plus 6 is 24. Okay. So 24 against uh, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5. Uh, first is 6. Uh, and when revealed, each player must choose either discard. Uh, the highest cost ally, the controller search the encounter deck and discard part for walk enemy, reveal it and add it to the staging area. Well, the highest cost ally is true, so the elves will discard. And uh, on this side, we'll search for a walk. So we can search the encounter deck or discard pile. So we'll take it from the encounter deck. And we'll get this because it uh, comes into play, engage with us, so we don't search it. That's an easy one to defeat. Okay. So, uh, again, we have 5, 6 against 24, so 18. So, 5 here and 13 here. Which is too short, so we will discard cards like so to boost Elwin. So we actually beat this by placing 15 here. Like so. Okay, so uh, we go to the Howling at Night. Quest 2A. Uh, walks have pursued you into the wastelands. They hound your every step, uh, slowing your progress by day and attacking you when the sun has set. When revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until X work enemies are discarded. Access the number of players in the game. Add each discarded enemy to the staging. Okay, we'll do that. And then uh, we need to get 15 progress here. Each night, another member of your company is caught at the edge of the firelight and dragged away. The sounds of snarling and screaming echo into the darkness. Force. When it becomes day, each player draws one card. Uh, Force. When it becomes night, discard one non-objective ally from play. Discard two non-objective allies in, uh, instead if there are three or more players in the game. So that is important to remember that even though I'm playing two-handed, I need to discard only one. Okay, uh, so we shuffle these into the encounter deck. Then we discard cards so, until, so that we get two uh, work enemies that go into the staging area. So. That one, and that one. Well, that was fast. Okay, so now we have a lot of enemies there. Which we need to get uh, deal with somehow. Okay. And... Uh, yeah. Uh, then uh, we... Go to the travel phase, and... Uh, we actually want to travel over here, because this will turn into a 3 next round. And there's no cost to travel there. 
Uh, okay, and uh, then we get to engage enemies. We will engage this one. Then the elves will engage this one. I actually will take this one and uh, the rangers have to get this one. So, um, I will play uh, ready X Dunedan characters you control, access the number of enemies engaged with you. So, I'll play this now. So, we get to ready X Dunedan characters. So, we'll play two. Then uh, the elves will play uh, stand and fight and we'll play this from our discard so that we have an ally to jump block here so uh, we'll go to fighting so we'll just deal the shadow cards like so then uh, this will defend here uh, the then here uh, this will defend uh, one of the lower hitting ones. Uh, this one will defend the high hitting one. And uh, I think we need to save. Uh, so I'll defend with Halbarad. Okay. So we start from here. So this low one will hit this. For two plus attacking enemy gets plus one, so three damage here. Defend of three, nothing happens. Good. Uh, then this will hit this one. Nothing happens, but it hits for six, so this is defeated. Then uh, this will hit this one, uh, so three plus nothing happens, so we'll take one damage here. Okay, now we get to hit back. So we want to for sure defeat this one. So Aragorn. So it has defense of two. We need to hit for two damage. So Aragorn hits for three damage. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we forgot to fight with this one. So this hits. Uh, put the topmost war enemy from the discard pile into play, engage with you, and deal with the shadow card. So that is bad. So, yeah, this is defeated. No, this is not. It has a defense of one. So it takes only one damage. But then this hits us. So uh, four plus attacking enemy gets plus one for each damage character you control. So that is plus one. And uh, there is no way to... Uh, negate that, so I think Gl Glorfindel is dead, <laughs> or I think we need to kill off uh, Eowyn so that we can play both color cards. So unfortunately Eowyn is dead, so this might turn out to be a short game either way, after all, so okay, back to here. Uh, so uh, these two will hit for three damage against uh, defense, uh, four damage against the uh, defense of two. So that's actually enough to defeat this guy. We get to pull off one of these enemies. We do that, and uh, then uh, we will hit killing this guy so at least we get to uh, rid of that one but that's bad we lost one hero at this phase so that that sucks so uh, no other uh, yeah we are at the day so this one wouldn't have come automatically but it is what it is I, I decided to take those on but that, that's life <laughs> 
I couldn't predict everything. So, uh, uh, that is the combat done. Uh, we'll go to re uh, refresh phase, so we ready up everything. And now, because it turns into night, we have to discard one ally. And we deal an encounter card. Assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. Well, that just pieces. And... Uh, yeah, so that's everything. So... Uh, we'll shift this here. We'll add one threat to each. Because now we don't add extra threat for entering the night time. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, we are ready for another turn, so first resources. Uh, losing our Eowyn is a really big blow to this game, so we have to see how how we can deal with uh, the rest of the game. So we get a card, stand and fight, okay. And then we get a card, uh, that's actually okay. Oh yeah, and Gandalf was discarded. And we get resources, so three here. And the steward of Gondor is exhausted. So again, we can place progress on here, but we want to get rid of this one. So, uh, planning phase. Well, the elves will play Elven Light from the discard. Drawing a card. Another Elven Light. I'll discard one of them to get a resource here. Just shuffling over uh, resource over. I will heal one damage from here. As there is nothing else to play. And uh, no one cost allies to play with the stand and fight, unfortunately. Then uh, nothing to play with the uh, Dunedain. So, we'll just quest. So, we'll quest with these three. Saving this for defending. And then we... Yeah, this should have transferred when I drew a new enemy. So, this is actually here. I forgot that this uh, goes to the player who just engaged an enemy. So, not uh, questing with that one. So we are questing against two, and we quested for uh, six, seven, and uh, nine, because we can quest without exhausting with Halvarad, because we have enemies engaged. So nine against two. We get two cards. Okay, nine against uh, six, nine against eight. So we put one progress over here. Okay, well, so White Warg, forced after White Warg engages, you deal one damage to a character you control, two damage if it's night, so that's bad. Okay, uh, we'll go to the engage or the encounter phase. Oh yeah, uh, let's back up, uh, because I actually forgot I had this in hand, so I could have, I had two, so I would have uh, quested with this. Oh yeah, and we boosted three here, and four, five. Then we'll, so we actually defeated this one, then we get to travel over, let's see. We can't deal with more work, so we'll just travel over here. So, uh, little game <laughs> play errors there, here and there, but it is what it is. Okay, um, so we don't want to engage them, but we'll engage it here. I think, yeah. So we have to deal two damage to. Uh, 
character. So we'll put them on to Faramir. And we'll play Athelas to heal Faramir. So we don't put any damage anywhere. Okay, and this goes over here now. Uh, we'll deal shadow cards. Then uh, we'll fight here. I'll defend with this. Uh, two. Uh, while it's not, this cast plus two, so it is actually uh, four damage and exhaust the character you control. I don't have any, so this just is defeated. Over here, uh, we will defend with Amartil here against this one. So, while Bloodthirsty Bark is in the staging area against Force, when it becomes Night Bloodthirsty, yes. okay, so no, that. So, this against this, so three against the uh, attack of four. No shadow effect will take one damage here. Then, this one uh, will defend with Albarad. Three plus, uh, if it's Night attacking and it makes an additional attack after this one, so that sucks. So, uh, one damage, it attacks again, uh, we'll defend with Faramir, uh, three against defense of two, nothing, uh, so we take one, and then this one attacks the uh, Amart wheel, and exhaust the character you control, so we exhaust Aragorn. Well, we are in a pickle. But it is what it is. So that is the combat phase. We can't hit anything back because everything is exhausted. <clears throat> so we'll just go to refresh phase. And uh, add one threat here, one threat here. This moves here, becomes daylight. So the works run away. Cowardly creatures as they are and That is that so that is that round. Let's go to the next round Okay, and uh, We are ready to do the resource phase so oh, yeah, uh, we are starting with uh, Dunedain Ranger of Cardolan uh, We add resources, so I'll just keep that there we have plenty of resources, but nothing to play with them. And then we get the Elves card, Silver Harp, and resource. Okay, well... Oh, let's see. Um, we'll uh, actually... Play this with all of these resources we have lying around. That's everything we can do with the Dunedain. Um, we'll heal uh, one damage from Halbarad. Then uh, we'll play... Oh yeah, we... <clears throat> First, we uh, discard Silver Harp to gain a resource. Then we play a sil Silver Harp from a discard. Okay, and uh, then we'll play with stand and, stand and fight, we'll play Galadrin and Maiden maybe. No, uh, we'll, yeah we have to play that. No, uh, we'll play the Erebor Hammersmith so we can get the topmost uh, attachment from our discard pile into hand. That's everything. We'll go to the questing phase. Mm, we'll quest with uh, these three. We'll use uh, actually Faramir first to here. Then um, yeah this is going to be a short one. We can't really do that much, so we'll uh, questing with Halbarad and this one. Ok, 
okay, maybe not that with that one. So Alvarado at least. So um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, twelve against a million. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So twelve against eleven. Not looking good. We get two cards. Uh, we are at twelve. And make cap. So search. Characters cannot be healed. Response after make camp is defeated. Each player heals up to three damage from a hero they control. So that searches. And each player must choose either discard the highest cost ally they control or search encounter deck and discard part for walk enemy reveal it <coughs> and add it to the staging area, shuffling the encounter deck. Okay, well, we get uh, one of these and one of these. Okay, <clears throat> so we lose by 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we lose by 2. So 1, 2, 1, 2. And we'll go. We didn't make any progress here. And uh, then we get enemies. So. Or uh, we can, those won't engage us if we don't want to. So we'll engage one big one. No, uh, we'll engage this one. And then we'll engage a couple of the smaller ones. Oh yeah, these are hitting for a lot. Uh, while... Against force when it becomes night potters. Well it didn't become night yet, so uh, we'll engage that one. Okay. Uh deal shadow cards to these enemies. Start from here. I'll defend with uh, this one for the bigger one. Four plus discard one attachment you control for each quest card in place. So we don't oh damn we lose the steward of Condor. That is a shame. And then he sits for two damage here, uh, defeating this one. Then this one hits, I'll defend it, the uh, Amar to the hero. Four, no more damage, so one damage goes through. Then uh, this one hits, uh, this one, the Erebor Hammersmith. So uh, three plus nothing, so. This takes two damage, so it's still alive, which is good. Okay, then we'll hit back with uh, Amartul and Aragorn against this one. Uh, three, four, uh, three, six against. So we'll actually. No, uh, we'll. Hit only with Aragorn against this one, defeating this one, we'll grab this one, then we will hit with these two against this one. No, this already defended, so what am I talking about? Okay, well, we'll hit uh, three damage onto that one, but unfortunately we are one. No, well, let's not even draw this one. We'll draw one of these and kill this off. That's much better. Okay, uh, so that is the enemy phase, uh, or the combat phase done. We'll go to uh, refresh phase, so ready up everything. Oh, damn. Fumbling the tokens here. Okay, and uh, we raise the threat by one. Threat by one, we have to discard an ally we control, we discard the Hammersmith. Actually, no, we'll discard this one. Because it turns into night, and... This goes here, and that is that round. I think I raised the threat.
I'm, I, yeah, well, let's just raise it again, because I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, uh, we are ready to start the next round. So we'll get resources and cards for the elves. We get double back. Not helpful for this situation. Then we get uh, veteran of Osgiliath. Not the best for this situation. And resources. Unfortunately, we just lost the Steward of Gondor, but we have resources to play that veteran at least. Okay, uh, I'll discard Elven Light to get a resource and play the Silver Harp. Actually, no. So we'll get a resource with uh, Orwen. We'll yeah, we'll uh, play the Elven Light from our discard pile. We get Galadriel Healer. Um, unfortunately, we don't have two resources to play that ally. So, no help from there. And we have one resource left, so okay. Well, nothing to play with the elves, so we'll play the uh, veteran of Osgiliath, and uh, we are in. Uh, we have forty or higher threats, so we get plus one to the stats. That's at least good. We'll go to questing, uh, we'll quest with the uh, Orwen and Orfindel, save there for Hammersmith. <coughs> then uh, we will quest with Halbarad, but we don't have to exhaust. Then we'll uh, use Paramir to boost the elves, so uh, we are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 against a lot. Looking bad, so we start from four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're ten against ten. Okay, uh, we are ten against twelve, and each player deals one damage to a uh, hero. Take control, and this attaches here. So we'll place it on here and here. Then, uh, Colt from Angmar. Uh, so, uh, attach Colt from Angmar to the current quest. Counts as condition attachment with the text. Treat each damaged character printed text, uh, text box as if it were blank, except for the keyword and traits. So, we are... That, that, that sucks, because now we can't uh, use any of these guys text boxes and we can't heal because of make cap so that's doubly my money so uh, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve against ten so we raise our threat by two And then the works will gauge us. So, first off, uh, I won't engage any works with the elves. I'll engage these two with the Dunedain. Then we need to deal two damage. Yeah, uh, because it's night from the white work. So we'll deal it to the veteran of Osgiliath and can I spread them out? Uh, we have to put it on the same character, so it must be Aragorn. Everyone else would die for the two attack. Okay. 
Well, then uh, we deal shadow cards. And then we probably will die. So, uh, I will defend with the Erebor Hammersmith. This enemy hits for 3 damage against 1 defense. No shadow effect, but uh, we deal 2 damage here. Then, actually I'll put these damages on to the text boxes, because now they are blank. So, um, I will defend with the veteran of Skiliath against this thick one. 4 plus nothing. So, defense of 2, so still this is defeated. Then, against this one, I will defend with Halbarad. 2 plus nothing, so we don't take any damage. Then uh, I'll defend with um, Amart will uh, four no are we <laughs> yeah uh, so this is a attack of four now so I'll take the risk so if it's a knight attacking enemy makes an additional attack after this one. Okay, well, uh, four against three, we take one damage. Then we defend uh, with the other Amar tool again. Four against nothing is one damage. So <laughs> these are nearly dead, but it is what it is, and we can't heal, which is grand. Okay, well, <clears throat> we go to refresh phase, we ready up. Oh yeah, we get to attack with Aragorn. So, uh, we deal two damage here, because now Aragorn won't remove one defense. So, we couldn't even kill one of these walks, which is not nice. Okay, so now we ready up. And uh, we raise the threat by one. This goes here. This flips. Uh, we draw cards because it becomes daylight, honor guard, and glow wine. And the works go to the staging area. So that is that round. Let's see if we can survive the next round. Okay, uh, we'll draw card and gain a resource. So uh, sneak attack. That would be good if we had Gandalf, but we don't have Gandalf. We'll get uh, resources and uh, a card for the elves. Uh, Protector of Lorien. Okay, so I'll play Gleowine. No, I have to first play with uh, everything with the uh, Nedine. So we'll play the Honor Guard. Nothing to do with the sneak attack at this moment. Uh, we'll play. Uh, Gleowine with the elves. We'll exhaust Gleowine to draw the uh, one co guard with one card with uh, Dunedain. We'll put Protector of Lorien. No need, we don't have resources for that. Oh, yeah, we can't heal. Okay, well, we'll just play the Silver Harp. And that's everything. Okay, well, we'll go to questing, uh, we'll exhaust these two to quest, we'll exhaust Karamira to boost the questing by two, actually that, yeah, we have to, and we'll uh, quest it Halvarad, so uh, we are uh, Eight, ten against four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have to quest more. Okay, so questing with uh, Aragorn. So we are 
losing by two, but we'll get two cards, uh, so I think we lost with that one. If it is night raised, it's player threat by four. If it's daylight, flip the time objective to nightfall. Well, that is great. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, uh, each walk enemy gets plus one threat until the end of the phase. So, uh, this is three, six, nine, uh, 11, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 3 against 10. So, <clears throat> we actually thread it out here. So, I won't even bother with that. So, yeah, uh, we got totally crushed by the scenario here. So, we thread it out. We were nearly going to die now. If, even if we would have survived the uh, questing phase, uh, not getting threaded out those walks, because it turned now to be night. Uh, it would uh, engage us and just kill us. We also got one uh, encounter bar because it turned to... <laughs> okay, so... Uh, yeah, we got doomed two here and uh, we removed every damaged character from the quest, so that even more made us lose. But yeah, this is a really brutal scenario. It is doable with these decks, but we just got overwhelmed with the works. So uh, we lost Elwin too early and didn't get our board set up fast enough. But still, uh, a decent try, but try it out for yourself, maybe with some better decks or try these decks. This can do the uh, quest, but it's, uh, as you can see, can be a really difficult one. But still, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.